Hello Pirates, this is Yun for the Hunted Tips of the Plunder Pirates. On today's video, we're going to find out about why you should not upgrade the Bummer's Kaboom skill. This Kaboom skill was a really a skill that I really wanted to know and to have from the, since the beginning of the game. And I really wanted to see and curious about what's going to happen when you press the button. Let's check it out in the video. So the Kaboom skill is all the way around here, it's, so you have to level up until level 5. So it's very kind of a upper skill that for the bummers to have. So I did to check it out on the real battlefield, how it looks like. So the case one is going to be about 50 bummers using this Kaboom skill. You deploy 25 troops at here and 25 bummers to the left and let's see what's going to happen. Now they're starting to use throw the small bombs and when you press the button they're going to blink in orange and they're going to hold a big bomb in their hand and it's going to explode and the bomber is going to be stunned. And also when they, the bombs explodes, it's going to affect the nearby units also and they're going to be stunned also. So they're going to be like dizzy around for like two or three seconds. But as you can see, with only the bombers, it's very vulnerable. So you should be having some kind of a combination with other units. So let's try to bring only 20 bombers in this case. So to use this Kaboom skill, what I did was I sent, I deployed the brutes and the gunners first and then I destroyed the defense system first. And then, right now, the Kaboom skill just uh, activated. But you can see that the storage building is not taken down. Very strange, right? I just explode a really huge Kaboom. And the storage is alive. And that doesn't make sense. The reason why of this is when you see carefully that as the bomber is not a melee attackers, it has a certain distance from the buildings. So though the, this blast comes out, the splash damage, it's not, the range is not that big. So what happens is that it's gonna just affect the nearest defense, but it's not gonna affect the building. So as you can see, they're throwing the small bombs. That's why it's tore down. It's not because of the blast of this uh, Kaboom skill. So it's quite very frustrating. It looks very big when you see the slow video. You can see that the splash damage looks very large, but actually it's not. So this is very frustrating. Maybe this could be a bug or this should be patched for sure in the future by Midoki. So Midoki, please upgrade or patch this kind of splash damage because it's quite useless to use this Kaboom skill. And when you carefully see the slow videos, you can see that the damage caused by this bombers is the dead man's trigger skill, not the Kaboom skill. So as you can see, the cannon has been destroyed because of the dead man's trigger. And you can see that it's going to use the Kaboom skill for this power hole and look, watch carefully. Now they're going to be turning to the orange and they're going to show and they're going to hold the bombs. They're going to blast and you can see that it's done no damage to the power hole, which does not make sense of this skill. And then this is the upper skill and it's not giving any damage to the buildings and this is very frustrating to see. Look at this building, uh, I mean to the ship, you can see that the Kaboom skill reacted, activated just right now, which is, was a huge explosion, but the ship has no damage at all. Anyway, as I have made this expensive upgrade it's called Kaboom, let's try to check it out one more time, whether it's really useless or not. Let's try to then penetrate to a little bit more beginners so the bombers can go inside more deeply to the base and try to trigger this Kaboom skill. When you see carefully at the video, you can see that it's not giving that much damage to the buildings. But the good thing is that if the gauges are refilled, you can blast the Kaboom skill one more time like this. Ba -ba -ba -bam, like that. So it's quite fun to see that, but <laughs> there's nothing. So anyway, I was thinking about then, what is the good thing? What can be the best usage of this Kaboom skill to use? So when you see this fence, it's going to be 2000 HP. So you will see that the damage is going to be about 1000 in the end. Look carefully. I think the good thing about this bomber is that though there is a double fence, look carefully, this is kind of a bug, that the bomber is going to go inside the double fence. That means you can trigger inside the double fence, and it's gonna damage give a damage about one thousand to the fence. That means it was two thousand, but you're giving one thousand, so it's already half is damaged by the bombers. So I think this is one of the best usage you can use if there's a double fence. Try to deploy the bombers, and it's gonna be quite useful. But uh, please also note that though you have a twenty-five bombers, and if they have twenty-five bombs, 
when you trigger this uh, kaboom skill, I thought it's gonna act as 25 explosion, but actually it's not. When the first bomber explodes first, what happens is that it's gonna affect the second guy, and though he's holding the bomb, he's gonna be stunned and the skill is gonna be cancelled. Anyway, look at this carefully, look at this slow motion. The bomber is going inside the double fence. It's like penetrating inside, I don't know why, but I think this is a bug, but I think it's quite a very useful bug. It's inside a double fence. Now then try to trigger this kaboom skill. It's gonna be quite useful. Inside a double fence. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel by pressing the honey jar on the upper right corner. Thank you for watching.